Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at these EcoSmart 14 watt, 100 watt equivalent filament LED soft white bulbs. Now these particular bulbs you can get in a couple different colors. You can get them in soft white, uh, I think like bright white and daylight. But I'm a fan of soft white, it gives that incandescent feel. And these filament LED bulbs are some of the best on the market, I think. I use these EcoSmart bulbs from the Home Depot throughout the house uh, for areas that PL adapters don't necessarily work. And I use these 60 watt ones here. This is their older packaging. I think they all look like this now. Um, but for the longest time, I've been wanting to get a hold of a pack of the 100 watt versions. And they just have not had them for the longest time. I, I, it's been like a year or more. And then they finally got like one flat of them in that has like five in a package. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick these things up. So here they are. I haven't even tried them out yet. They've been sitting on the shelf here. Um, I have an application that I do want a brighter bulb in, especially when you compare the lumen output here. So let's go ahead and explore this together. Here we have the front of the packaging. Obviously it's much smaller uh, than the older packaging here and we don't have the plastic other than the window. Um, here there's a lot of plastic going on. So the front of the packaging here, the one thing that I do like about these is that they are dimmable and they dim very well, at least the 60 watt ones do. We'll, we'll test that out as well. You have the side of the packaging, of course it's a classic glass bulb, one of the benefits of a filament LED. All the information here on the back, again on the side, in the front, bottom, top. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Packaging is very unique in the way that it uses the cardboard to protect the bulbs. I do like that. So we'll take the first one out here because they're all the same, at least they should be. Yep, you can feel the filament LEDs inside and you can kind of see them there through the bottom. Looks like they have an interesting kind of uh, shape going on in there where they're all at angles so they can probably fit them in there a little bit better. I can't really tell how many they got in there, but they look like they're the really thick kind. Maybe there's four of them. Um, I don't really have anything that's super bright to shine through there, to be honest, to see what, what we could get. Yeah, I can't see in there, and this flashlight's just too old. Anyway, I think there's four of them in there. It looks like it's four and they're at an angle. We'll see maybe when we turn it on. At the base here, we have all the standard information that we just read on the packaging. So let's go ahead and put it into our adapter here uh, with our dimmer. Turn off the uh, main lights here and let's turn it on. Boy, is that bright. Okay, they're not joking. That hurt my eyes as soon as I turned it on. Yeah, when they say this is 100 watts, they're not joking about that. This thing is so bright. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it looks like they got four of them in there. Looks like we're having some type of 60 hertz flicker going on with the camera. Maybe you can see that. Could also be caused from this dimmer. Now, we hold that above the camera here. Let's see, we get 12 watts. What do they say here, 14? Could be because of the dimmer. Now, the dimmer, let's try it out. Oop cut out. Ooh, you can get it really nice and dim. Now this is one of the reasons that I really like the EcoSmart ones is you can get them really nice and dim. Um, this one's uh, having a little bit of a struggle with it probably you know with different style filament LEDs and stuff like that that are on the market but look at how dim you can get this thing. Now the camera's making it look much brighter but at least you have the ability to do this. Now a lot of them um, we'll just, you know, get to a certain brightness and then cut out. Where here you at least have, you know, a bit more ability to get it at different brightnesses. So, you're probably wanting to replace a regular incandescent 100 watt bulb. So let's compare it to that. Well, right off the bat, you don't want to put your hand on that because it's super hot. But this one, it's, it's still cool. Yeah, looking at these together, geez, it's hard to tell them apart. It really is. Um, you know, if I weren't to tell you what one was what, would you be able to figure it out? 
they are equally as bright. Like, to be real honest about it here. Let's dim them down and see what we get. Ooh, they dim pretty, uh, pretty well together. Like, right here, they're about the same brightness. And then, of course, the incandescent starts to taper off a little bit more, and it has the nice warm glow to it. But you can definitely get it down there. Oh, then the LED went out. Oh, no, never mind. It's still there. Look at that. Look at how dim you can get these bulbs. That's really nice. I really like that. Yeah, same brightness as 100 watts. No doubt about that. They did a great job with this. Wow. I mean, just looking at both of them together... I mean, on the camera, you can kind of tell, you know, this one's filament LED and this one's incandescent, but in person, nah. They're like the same. Great job with that. Um, I, physically, I don't see any flickering. And uh, going like this, my real cheap LED test to see if there's a 60 hertz flicker, there's definitely none of that. Um, let's turn on one of the lights here. We'll turn that off and we'll give it a fair shake without being in line with a dimmer, just in case that makes any difference. And uh, that measures at 11.9 watts. We still have that weird flicker thing going on with the camera, as you can kind of see. But in person, I don't see any of it. Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna have to really put these into use and see what we get out of them, because I'm quite impressed, really. I've been impressed with the 60 watt versions. Um, they dim very well. Uh, and this is very much equivalent to a standard incandescent. And in size too, there's like, uh, I don't have, you know, I, I'm running out of, there's so many great things that the filament LED bulbs are doing in matching the incandescent uh, counterparts, the size. You know, like, it, it'll fit in any fixture this fits in. The light output is the same. It's not like it's a, you know, one place and it's shining in one direction like the snow cone LEDs. It's everywhere. It's the same. It's the same. It's just more efficient. It's amazing how filament LEDs have changed so much. That's great. Well, anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of these EcoSmart 14 watt, 100 watt equivalent filament LED bulbs. And also please comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.